Yes, that's right! Serendipity. It was a big part of how we made Skyrim for pimps. What do I mean by that? Well, we're gonna talk about that after or during when we watch this upcoming episode. And uh, glad you guys are here to watch it with us. I'm really looking forward yeah. to this. This is a big one. Crotch gets hitched. Yeah. This is a very monumental episode that ends up tying into future seasons in ways viewers and even we couldn't possibly have predicted at this time. Yeah. So yeah. I'm excited. So before we get started, I wanted to tell you about a calendar that we just made. We don't really have a whole lot of merch here at Game Society Pimps, but we did no. make a new Skyrim for Pimps pinup calendar based on the works of art that our friend and fan Liz created just in time for the holidays, of course. Yeah, the calendar not only has full page fan art pinups on every month, but also some of the holidays have their own special, unique little bits of art, mostly memes and inside jokes from Game Society pimps over the years. So there's tons and tons of little Easter eggs to find inside of this calendar. So that calendar is available now. It'll be available for a limited time. So go grab that ASAP. The link is in the description. We'll put it in the comments. We'll put it everywhere. Check it out. And, uh, you know, if you've got a uh, Skyrim for Pimps fan in your life, it could be a good Christmas gift. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Uh. All right, put your pants back on. All right, let's watch right. the episode. You sold us kind of a sweetie. Yeah. You know, I've had my my college relationship, and now I kind of know, like, what I want and what I don't want. Yeah, somebody with a low-cut shirt. <laughs> That's definitely pretty much what you want. Miramar, Miramale, Mermel, ruled okay. out the uh, non-low-cut shirts. Yep, I'd like it's to true. That's crotch's criteria. That's still all I want in a woman, really. <laughs> it's good to see love blossoming we are simple. These difficult times. Yes, it's blossoming. Your wedding will be held tomorrow. Your wedding has been arranged. If only it was that easy in real life. I hope you sold it. Fine with that. God, you dude. Want to make Since we made that joke, stuff. both you and I, we have been engaged already. like yeah, this is crazy, for man. years. Life yes. <laughs> with no <laughs> immediate plans to uh, oh, yeah, do the whole wedding gotta, thing. Yeah. And I don't mean to each other, guys. We are not engaged to each other. We're engaged to two different women. We and, uh, broke off our engagement ago. years ago. You didn't have to cut yeah. her off. Yeah. Yeah. We realized we wanted a woman with a low-cut shirt, not a man with a low-cut so shirt. Low. Yeah. Now you're just some asshole that she used to know. Exactly. Ah, yeah, we talked over the Gautier reference. That's okay. We covered it last episode. Yeah, sorry, we already made that reference. Fuck I really it. am. I just wanted to let you know that I'm getting married. <laughs> Her name's Yasolda. Um, she wears a low-cut shirt. She's, uh, you know, she's not ugly like you. And um, I just wanted to give you this invitation. So yeah, you're welcome to come. Uh, maybe we'll see you there. All right then. Okay, see you there. She took that surprisingly <laughs> well. well. That's great. She's totally open. And then she actually she goes to the wedding. Oh my god. Well, no, I yeah. doubt it. She doesn't probably even know who I am. <laughs> yeah, you know, I could probably uh, go get a little smoochy smoochy with. Uh, Berlina again, and she wouldn't even remember that we ever did it. Wow. That's why cha chatting with your ex your is like such a bad idea. Because it's <laughs> never, like you're never going to have yeah. a good conversation. Like, <laughs> the girl with the head injury next door. <laughs> hey, I'm getting married. Did you hear? Scully, if you know what's good for you. God damn. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. I was just getting married. <laughs> She's catty. This is, this is the big moment. Literally. Me and Yasolda. Can you believe it? After I, all we've been through? Yeah. It was Mara that first gave birth to all of creation. Yeah, well, that must have hurt. Clever. She has never even seen your face no, when she, she agreed to marry you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, we gotta we gotta pause it here because yeah. there's a couple of characters in the background of this shot. Okay, so it's a little hard to make out, honestly, but um, a lot of people said, "Hey, it's Soggy and Yura in the background." How did yeah. you guys plan? How did you guys? You know, they were like, "You, it's amazing that you figured out to to do this," and and you know, like, but you were planning this far ahead. Well. Uh, that's not exactly accurate. Um, this yeah. was all one of those amazing serendipitous things where we created a Khajiit character later who it's possible was modeled on one of the people at this wedding. It's tough to say because we don't remember every detail of the creative process. 
So I don't yeah. actually know if that's the case. It might be, but the fact is, by sort of remaining open to these possibilities and letting stuff like this organically grow while we were creating the series, it was possible for stuff like this to accidentally happen, but then we would go back as the series went on and weave it in to the story in ways mm -hmm. that, you know, never could have happened if these random things didn't occur. Yeah, uh, you know, we do a lot of planning in this show, but a lot of it goes completely unnoticed, right? A lot of it's very invisible. Um, and it is a little bit of a shame that sort of this bit here where people were thinking that we had pre-planned Soggy Balls and Yura being in this scene, that was a huge coincidence. And that also was sort of like uh, accidentally, I think, by Adam. I'm going to I'm going to assume, give him the benefit of the doubt that he just misremembered. But we did not plan on having Soggy and Yura in this. In fact, Yura, she's from that. She's a pre-made NPC from that uh, Elsewhere mod. And we didn't have that at the time, so we couldn't have planned for Yura to be yeah. in this scene. It's not yeah. possible. Didn't we redo this scene, and and it was Soggy yeah. at the wedding? So like we yep. we, we retconned just, it. Yeah, we <laughs> yeah. just retconned it and actually yeah. created that because we were like, that's just too great of a coincidence. We have to work that yeah. into the story. So that did we did do a lot of planning for that, but it was sort of like, you know, uh, retcon planning and making it like weaving it into the story. Yeah, I think it's a bit of a shame that Adam spent so many times in comments claiming that uh, this was pre-planned. Uh, and I think that maybe what had happened is, you know, we had, when we were designing Soggy Balls, perhaps Adam was like, hey, look, there was Khajiit in the wedding that we did for Crotch. Why don't we have our Khajiit character look like one of them? Yeah. Maybe that's what happened. I don't remember, but uh, it is really great that it does appear to be him. All right, let's 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 go back a little bit and let's watch this whole yeah, wedding where scene we left again. off. Don't want to miss a second yeah. here. Yeah, well, that must have hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it's that good, joke. It was good. It was good. You know, how you know you sold as a keeper. She has never even seen your face. No, she, she agreed to marry you. Oh Look my god! It. Oh my god! Lydia. Lydia's here. All of your exes are hey, here. Lydia. <laughs> <laughs> Berlina, she came. She totally That's came. That's so amazing. <laughs> And that woman you sold cabbage to? That's amazing. Now <laughs> shut up, I'm getting married. <laughs> Do you agree to be bound together in love now and forever? It's so funny that so many of your I'm fucking co workers and I'm fellow students at your it's college didn't show up to your wedding. I yeah. declare this couple to be wed. Yay! Wait, you sold like. Wait, well, aren't we supposed to go somewhere? Our new home. I'll see you there. Oh, she has a house? There he was. Oh, that dude, was soggy. He's right there. House? Yeah. The tip. It was. Quote unquote soggy. <laughs> Those guys, by the way, they're just Khajiit caravan guys. I can't you know? wait to go to yeah. Zelda's house. I don't know why they came, but yeah, that was it's oh, odd. Maybe they just nice. go to all the weddings because they just love dicks. weddings, or maybe they were like, oh, oh we sure, can, oh, we can sell some stuff honey. to these people. They're newlyweds, so they're gonna need some, yeah. even you know, furniture and shit. The fuck is she? Maybe the game wife, tries to man. fill in the wedding with like as many NPCs that you've dorms. interacted with, but we just were losers and only interacted with college people. Yeah. Now, why can you have married the chick that owns that house? Look at that. It's huge. It's got an upstairs and everything. You know, Emery, she lives on like the fucking edge of the city in like the shittiest house. God, right by the wall. This is, a ni this is a nice view. She's got like a scenic view. I don't know what you're talking about. You can't see shit. This is beautiful. Have you seen Yusolda? Trouble? Yeah, she, my, my wife, she's gone. <laughs> It's two o'clock in the morning, she should be at home. Well, I'm gonna go sleep in my fucking bed, even if Yasolda's not gonna be joining me. She can sleep on the floor. Wow, what a great first day of marriage. Yeah, I don't know what I got into here. I hope I signed a prenuptial. Hello, my love. I think this is another one of those things that was a coincidence, no, I you know? Just, I just yeah. Was I don't think we planned for her to be a fucking drug dealer. Wow. Like, no, whatever. no, that she was another just coincidence. What, six in the morning? Yeah. She just walked in? She just came in. I wonder what she does. I mean, it can't you be tried to disgrace her job. and say that she it's was all these bad things, questions. and I was like, no way. And then it turned out <laughs> no, she was. She doesn't ask you what you do. <laughs> all right, well, I just need to uh, stop by the college here and pick up my stuff now that I've got a house. Yep. <laughs> well, you know, Jazargo, this is totally appropriate because it's the last time I'll ever he be seeing you. Cold, but <laughs> Khajiit feels warmness from your presence. That's nice. <laughs> I'm sure you do. You know what? You can sit here forever because I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> Taking my skulls and I'm leaving forever. All right, I got all my skulls. I'm getting the hell out of here. Wait, 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 wait. What? Didn't that chick at the uh, inn say that there was some shrine around here? Yeah, that sounds familiar. Maybe oh. I should go check that out while I'm in the area. Might as well. 
Maybe you get something nice to give to your new wife for a, you know, honeymoon present. She always says I've been out at adventure. Are honeymoon presents a thing? I prove that that's actually I what don't, I do. like, think so. <laughs> and not just go to college. If she knew that your real job was to clean up dragon corpses and toilets, yeah, I'm I never, don't know if she would have married you. I'm never even going to mention that whole archmage thing, because it's just kind of <laughs> awkward now. All right, this is uh, quite the little temple they got going on here. I like it. So do I go up, or do I go in? I think you gotta do both to hit the G-spot. I'm not ah! sure what that means, Emery. Hey, uh... Oh my god! Azura has seen your coming, Traveler. Oh my really? god! She's got the deepest voice I've ever... She must be a smoker. Sounds good. What uh, was this Azura want me to do exactly? You must go to a fortress endangered by water. Is there okay. yet last name i n s cuz it would be capitalized so yes it's arania i n s yeah why did we never say this wild name <laughs> so fun to say arania i n s they don't tell me shit over there Go talk to somebody at Winterhold. Oh, I am like the guy. It's Winterhold. like a missed opportunity. Maybe we cut it. Jesus Maybe we said we were like Ariola Leneth, you know, oh, or no. whatever. Oh, no, I can I've see it. Pronouncing it. Maybe you're too distracted. Time. Wait, wait, wait. So with does that the mean wedding? Yeah, I think I was because of the wait, wedding thing. No. Yeah. We were too distracted planning what soggy balls that. would look like. I guess. I enjoy pronouncing it in our heads. Yep. Every aspect of it. Elvis made studies. Who sent you? Was it the college? The Yarrow? A priestess of Azura sent me, Persuade. You're working with the Daedra? <laughs> yep. Right. What, you don't believe me? Fucking tell me or I slit your nads. Just calm down. I'll tell you everything. <laughs> slit yeah, your nads. Works. Love works. that. What do you think elf line. nads look yeah, like? They Azura's perfectly yeah. round, hairless I spheres. Well, yeah, I imagine them to be sort of flat. Of really? Flat and leathery. I was yeah. Under Malin oh, sort of like then. his neck skin, you know? If only we knew what he was really <laughs> planning. What did Malin do, man? Malin wanted to alter the star. He was dying. Disease. He thought he could store his own soul inside. Seems like maybe that was a mistake. Hey, why don't you have the subtitles on? Uh, oh, yeah. what? <gasps> I just realized that. Where Dude, we took a few loyal Dude we've, been we've been robbed. We've been robbed. Uh, oh, they don't something? exist! Wow. What? Interesting shit they don't, you they don't exist. Archmage. But I'm, I saw Archmage. them, though. Archmage. Don't ever really? Archmage again. No. Oh, but those are like auto-generated. Auto yeah. Can you switch the subtitles to... No, dude. The only options are off English or auto-translate. Oh, <gasps> no. Well, that means there's no subtitles for the rest of this. That's sad. Oh, well. I guess we're going to have to rely on our own comedy to be entertained. Mm. Rubbish. Snap. Okay. Or I'll slit your nads. Oh! Alright. See, it I'll works. never do it again. It works in real life, too. Alright, so I guess we gotta find Azzy Star in Illinalta's Deep. Don't you mean... Mm. Guys, we need one of you to go star. and uh, yeah, make but, uh, all of the uh, subtitles for the remaining episodes. Or I'll come and slit your nads! <laughs> yeah, because it works in real life. Well, let's go up to the North yeah. Brittle Shin Pass. I think I would like to call it... North Titty Shit Pass. What is shitty tits? Titty T shit. <laughs> titty shits was not what you said. You said shitty tits. <laughs> I said titty shit. <laughs> but shitty, shitty tits, tits. Is good. North Shitty Tits Pass. Okay, there we that's go. That's good. We agree on that. That's something. really offensive, so that's perfect. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, yeah. Wow, that's that was cool. It. Like a top. <laughs> a little spinny yeah. sword action there. Man, you're like Leonardo DiCaprio with that thing. The end of Inception. What? Sp spinning. He's not spinning at the end of Inception. What are you talking about? <laughs> I was like, even I didn't get my own joke right there. Oh, yeah, no. I, I figured it out eventually, but yeah, that was that was rough. Yeah, she, she gets the food, she gives the yep. sex, and you bring back the dragon souls. Yep. Ilan Nolta's deep discovered. It was nice of this guy to leave his knapsack right underneath him before he <laughs> died. He was probably killed because his hands were giant. <laughs> like, seriously. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially his right hand. Massive, wow. massive right hand. Wow. His he fingers were so long hand. on that hand. <laughs> people have, like, finger the, the span of their fingers between thumb and forefinger. So, yeah, he probably would have had a pretty good sized wiener. Unless you measure her from his left hand, then it would have been average. That's true. I don't know which one to measure it. This poor guy's dick size will never be known. <laughs> <laughs> It'll remain a mystery throughout the ages. Oh, well. <laughs> It's one of those. I wonder if archaeologists can figure out how big a guy's <laughs> dick oh, would have like been. A trap room. I bet Based on their the bones, is there a way to like, like measure that sharks. from like bone density or something? Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> Electric sharks. Yeah. 
doesn't make any sense, Emery. What? How do I get the maybe goddamn... foot length? You know, because you know what they say. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah. Well, what I was puzzle. talking about is the whole like finger you know you thumb to forefinger thing. Yeah. But I don't know how accurate that, that is. That won't work. I mean, Probably not at all. Accurate. Like, no, because then if you were like Dirk Diggler and you had a 12 inch wang, then how? Yeah. You'd have clown shoes. You, you couldn't right. have that <laughs> yeah. much of a distance that between your fingers. That would be. I don't know. That would be crazy. Just been able to jump across and swim in the water. I yeah. Plus, anecdotally, or, or I have really, like really big sharks. feet and an incredibly no small micro penis. So. I really like that. Smell. Mm. Okay. It's not well, possible. It's a slow, I guess you get a little insight behind the scenes here, everybody. They don't know what and they're just like, what? In fact, sometimes they walk into it. Yeah. They just go right into. I thought we were just trying to do danger. behind the scenes about this series. No, I don't think they do that. <laughs> I'm sure you know that song. Unfortunately, come on, it was a joke. Obviously, <laughs> why, right, would I, right. why would I out right. myself it's like my that? Right? That why would you? Come on. Because the truth is always funnier. Worth it. I don't know. Yes, it's right around the corner. I'm sure. <laughs> Whoa, dude, you broke it. Oh, whoops. Hey, I'm here now. <laughs> I got the thing. Azura Star. Yeah. I knew the Lady of Twilight had sent you for a reason. No, I didn't actually take it out yet. Hand it over to me. Should I do it? I don't know. She does have a really deep voice, and I don't trust people with <laughs> yeah, deep voices. Yeah, and she's like, give it to me. <laughs> and she's dark. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like okay. Her clothes are dark. <laughs> no, no, you said something racist. Just <laughs> admit it, and we'll move on. <laughs> oh, just take it. I will commune with Azura. Hmm, okay. That sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That's the best way to do it. Give her the star oh, yeah. and then blast yeah. her off the cliff. Hey, come on, get back up here and finish this. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Oh, look, I did it. Yay! <laughs> Greetings, mortal. Hi. You have followed my guidance through the veils of twilight and rescued She's got nice boobs. from Malin Varys. Yeah, they are, yep. like, but his soul still whoever did the statue made those. Protected by his They, like, go, from they're, like, view, rising. Like, they're, like, helium-filled like really, or something. Really yeah. Massive. Yeah. Like stone boobage. Giant under boobage. Uh, is there any way to cleanse the star? I have some special gloves that I use to clean out the uh, fecal points at the uh, <laughs> College of Winterhold. I will send you inside the star. You will banish Malin's soul there. Ooh, that sounds kind of sexy. Uh, okay, I'm ready to enter the star, apparently. Have faith, mortal. Mm. I, I do not remember any of this. Mm. Okay, I won't. Ah. Uh. My disciples have sent me a fresh soul. I remember it, but not because it's, like, important to the story. Yeah. Oh, it's just, like, you know, a memorable uh, you know this quest, experiment I guess. That you were doing in Superman's cave? It's over. Who are you to <laughs> challenge me? I have conquered mortality itself. I've spat in the eyes of the Daedric Lords. Yeah, well, I took over a college in 12 days and got married <laughs> to a woman in five minutes. Let's see you do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Smack that bitch. I don't think so, you buddy. better yield, jerk. Ha! Don't worry, mortal. I will return you before you are cleansed. This was like Crotch cleanse, Guzzler cleanse, before he had completely cleanse. given up. What are you, know? you going to be using yeah. to cleanse me exactly? Before the library right. land. My star has been restored. Oh, okay, And congrats. Malin's soul has been consigned. Yeah, it is a little bit sad how depressed right? Crotch ends up. Well. <laughs> yes, but like he does have a nice like redemption arc by the end where he cool. finds motivation. So nice. Yeah, exactly. Right, see you, later, buddy. you gotta have those have lows before you can have those highs. She's gonna love this. A big old bag of skulls. Oh yeah. We sold. Uh, hello. Nah, she's never <laughs> she's never home at Time night. Oh, that's right. It's <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Why would she be here? <laughs> so that's what 50 skulls look like all dropping at the same time. She is gonna love this. Oh, yeah. it's not the this married life that Crotch like was expecting, you know? Better. <laughs> Home is where the skulls are. Later on, nice. we would have to so, have uh, so many skulls that she? I would have to get a script to to like well, drop hundreds of skulls at the same you know, time. <laughs> so we wouldn't have to literally spend like an hour fucking dropping skulls everywhere. But those were all legit collected skulls in this bit. Yeah. Nothing modified there. Exactly. We were still no, on the Xbox at this the point, a so yeah. Woman with a low cut no mods. Shirt who makes enough money to have her own house, and she always stays out at night. I mean, what did you think she was? I, that what you're saying is so <laughs> sexist and awful. Are you my wife? <laughs> Anybody see are my you wife? my wife? <laughs> Hello. Have you seen my wife? We are the children of man. Oh boy. 
That was a mistake. Maybe she's at the uh, Bannered Mare. Maybe. What would she be doing in an inn at three in the morning? I'm not <laughs> sure, Emery. Maybe you should just shut up. Have you seen Yasolda? I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the inn to Yasolda. Anyway, what <gasps> do you need? She wants to sell the inn to Yasolda. What? Hell yeah. <laughs> Where is Yasolda? Where the fuck? Need anything else. I mean, well, we sound so genuine in these reactions. Here. I wonder if Ridiculous. we literally Where didn't know. She? I, I don't think we did. No, I, don't I really don't think works. so. I don't know what she does for a you living. You thought were really fucking good actors, house. dude. Well, I don't know. Why did I get married Sometimes, to someone I know absolutely this, nothing about? Way back in this early stuff, the, I just don't think we knew that much. Late at night and helps, like, yeah. orphans and beggars. That's what she does. She's, like, the best person that you've ever met. Why would that woman want to sell the bannered mare to your wife if she was just, like, out helping beggars at night? Holda? <laughs> yeah. Because she knows that, that Yasolda's a really good person. I'm just saying she goes in and out of that inn a lot. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go home and she's gonna be there. What are you gonna do when she's not there? Hmm? What are you gonna do? I have, like, 300 skulls to keep me company. I don't give a shit. <laughs> uh, look, see? There she is. Yasolda, where do you work, honey? Hello, my love. Back from some adventure, I bet. Here. This is your share, love. What? <laughs> Yeah. Holy shit! See, look at this! <laughs> she just gave you money! She is the best fucking wife ever. Alright. She what? gave me 400 gold, she cooks me the food. She, You know what she does? She wanders around at night and collects money on the ground. <laughs> That's you what just she's keep, doing. You just keep thinking that. You know what? Just because she came home with 400 gold in the middle of the night doesn't mean anything. You don't know. My wife is not a whore. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love... That we spent that whole time dancing around, you know, actually saying what we were thinking, and then you, the very last thing you say is she's not a whore. That's that's great. Okay, let's let's go over some comments. Here's one from um, Game Society Pimps. Now, this is a comment from Adam, because he was our official comment answerer for the most part. He was our comment bitch. He was a comment bitch. I occasionally <laughs> did uh, reply to comments, but usually... It was Adam, and here he says, Though I will admit that we didn't really know what Soggy's final design would be. We just kind of threw a random Catman character in there to hold his place. Euro was just a happy bonus. In the end, we kept his basic body design, but changed the outfit. Um, Adam is just straight wrong about this. I don't yeah. know, like, what he was on at the time, but there was... We weren't... I'm almost 100% positive we weren't modding the game at that point because it was on Xbox. No. I'm pretty sure. So that we wouldn't have thrown anybody in. Although he may not have known that because he was not always as involved with everything. So who knows? I don't know what the hell he was thinking there. But like we said during that scene, the way that it went down was serendipitous. I can tell you exactly who those three Khajiit are. Oh yeah, you figured it out? The three Khajiit are Madron, who's one of the Khajiit merchants. And his two bodyguards, Majad and Rajinda. Those are the three. So, so what that means is, and this is my favorite and the funniest part about all of this, is that people saw those Khajiit in the background. And just because maybe they think a lot of Khajiit look alike, they, <laughs> they just assumed it was soggy. But, but we did work it into the story. So in a yeah. way, it was, you know, it basically was, it, it became them. You know? Mm-hmm. It actually mm -hmm. became yep. them. That's how a lot of history is, Aaron. You know, history is written by the victors, and we just rewrote history there. So, so <laughs> you know. We're the victors? We are the victors. Oh. We and win. what situation did we would we have lost there? I'm not I'm not clear. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Just just let me have this. We we win. Philosophize says he's not spinning at the end of Inception. What are you talking about? I love your Skyrim videos. You guys are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that was a conscious joke by you, right? Like that wasn't like yeah. you not understanding what I was talking about. No, okay, I, I, I think I, you know, I have been known to make jokes now and then. So you're I so that funny. Was, I think that was one of them. Hopefully, um, <laughs> the, down here you got uh, Thane of White Run says the amount of foreshadowing in this episode is a testament to how this show stands the test of time. I'm going to share this with my kids someday. XD, no other series, the Skyrim or otherwise, has the feel this has. Cheers, and I hope <laughs> that you did that, Thane. Um, or well, you could have kids. It's been ten years so you let us know uh whether that all happened and you showed it to your kids but uh <laughs> the funny thing about that though is so it was i guess it's 
foreshadowing, but I prefer the word backshadowing because really, backshadowing. that's yeah. kind of what it was, wasn't it? The thing is, like I said, there was planning that go goes into this, and I kind of wanted to talk about the planning of Soggy Balls, the real planning of Soggy Balls that happened. And some of that was based off of things that happened in this episode and things that happened in the previous episodes. Like, for example, we decided that we wanted Soggy Ball's brother to be Jazargo, in part because of how, or a big part, is how Crotch interacted with him and how Jazargo acted during this season. And yeah. so, you know, we, we did do a lot of planning, but some of that planning actually is like what you're talking about, Aaron, backshadowing. We would go back and look at some of the stuff we had done that was usually an accident or a coincidence or whatever, and then figure out ways to tie that into our future plans. Yeah. You know, I, I think that's just as impressive as meticulously planning out something, you know, a, a series that's going to go on for seasons ahead. Like that's honestly, that's like impossible. Like, it's it's almost impossible. Any there creative was, will tell you. There was forward planning. There was backward planning. There was improvising mm -hmm. in the moment that just would mm -hmm. work out. And so all those things swirled around and, and just ended up being the Scouting for Pimps series. That's basically. how you make something good. You can't just too heavily rely on any one of those things. You have to incorporate them all into making something organic and, and well done. All right, so now we're going to move on to the next one. Daedric Asthma Attack. Here we go. Episode 10. I'm kind of, I was kind of offended that you called my wife a whore in the last episode, Emery. Uh-huh. You need to apologize. I'm not going to apologize, dude. I'm She's just... not a fucking whore. You're a <laughs> fucking whore. That may be, but... I think I know one when I see one. You give it out for free. You're worse than a whore. I'm going to go find Yasolda. And I'm going to prove to you that she's not a whore. Okay, good luck. Yasolda. If you give well, it out for free, isn't lot. that just like <laughs> having a relationship or something? Or having a... Oh, uh, I think you were That's trying to call me an SLUT, dude. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah. With her fists. What specifically is unbroken about her? Her her butt. <laughs> it's really, you know, fancy way of saying anal virgin. <laughs> right. Anal virgin. Uthgird the anal virgin. Just doesn't have the I, wish, I wish that was her name. We Wait, should have, yeah. right? when we started I'll modding, we should have changed it. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look, see, she's not a whore. She's just having dinner, you fuckface. <laughs> having dinner, you mean, like, having her... There is, like, more cups at that meal. table. That's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. She is not the type of person who goes and fucks a man for money. You can tell that just by her eyes. So, um... Have we uh, made any more money in our store? We have a cozy little profit. Mm, I wonder why we zoomed in here. Sharing. Yeah, this is unexpected. Hell Purposeful? Yeah. Interesting. Wait, wait, wait. Half as much as yesterday. Well, it's a cozy little profit. Mm. Okay, so she, she wasn't quite as busy tonight. That's why she's sitting around yeah, and no. eating. And you know what? It hasn't even been a It night. looks like we she's were focusing on that guy leaving? Look at that. Like I don't hours. think she's so. A, this looks to me like an part. editing mistake. Okay, so that looks like an editing mistake. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think that actually was an around. editing mistake that uh, we never <sighs> noticed until now. Funny. Interesting. People bring her money. That doesn't make any sense. They're just like, you look really cool sitting in the corner here. Here's 10 gold. She just she looks so awesome that people can't help but fucking shower her with coins. You know what kind of women get money for looking good, right? No, for being good. She's for she's, being good. Yeah, she's she gets money for being good. Yisela could totally yeah, have an oldie fans. That's not for how sure. the world works. Aaron. You don't know. You don't, you don't just get money for being good, right? Yisolda, back me up here. Come on. I can't so, wait uh, until we find out like where she gets the money. Yeah. What uh, What's the plan for tomorrow? Do you want to? You want to go for a bike ride or something, or? <laughs> oh, I've got an idea. You sold them. Me and you, we can go hitch a ride with. Yes, my love. What, I, what do you need? I, um, I don't know. I was just talking. I thought maybe you and I could go hitch a ride with Bajorlam and and go see the world and travel. Apparently, she didn't like that. Idea. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Wait, where where are they going? Looks like they're kind of walking. Shut up. The same direction. <laughs> Shut up. They don't even know each other. They just happen to be walking together. You're, You're so, so paranoid, Emery. Okay, just don't go in the house with her. <laughs> don't fucking go in the house with her. It's gonna happen, man. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Look at, look at. Yes! <laughs> they totally parted ways. Unless you, unless they had sex while they were standing next to each other. I don't think she's a whore. Wait a minute. If you go to bed, I'm gonna be really freaked out. What? In the fuck? I cannot wait while being asked to leave. <laughs> oh, you're in a fight. <laughs> what about. She. Oh, we're having pissed. a fight. Oh, that's okay, funny. That is really 
<laughs> fucked up. I didn't do anything. I just tried. I was just talking about what... She was probably walking with that guy, and she had to say, you know, we can't do this tonight. My husband's right behind us. <laughs> and then he was like, I'm not giving you any money. And then She's probably away. angry yeah. that you were... Yeah, you know, that that crotch was, like, you know, kind of kinda stalking her and, well, like, keeping an eye... Yeah. Keeping Please. tabs on her. <laughs> I mean, she was obviously waiting for him at that table, except you sat down... <laughs> And he came and he saw that she was with you. See, uh, that's why I zoomed in. It's See? not a glitch. They tried to meet outside, but you kept walking around, following them around, and you know. Yeah, well, I don't know Whoa. why. Oh, I love happens, that. But I made sure it didn't happen. Well, wow. Crotch shut me. it down. I, there's only one thing to do. I do think that part could have been edited a little bit better with the, uh, the watching the diet. The yeah. Walk out the door. So you let's yeah. still stay there. Say there was a minor editing mistake. Hello, it was a ladies. lazy oh, mistake. God. Yeah. Ergner, uh, you might want to just. Dust your nose off. <laughs> Have you been sticking your nose in the ground? Searching for truffles? <laughs> Hello, oracles. Mm, yeah. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with everyone around here except for the oracles? The entire town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. Everybody in this town have Bieber fever? <laughs> Come down with a nice hot case of Bieber fever. Yes, they all have Bieber fever. What's your plan, dude? I need to return to the. I wish COVID had been called Bieber fever. Night call the oh yeah, that'd be a been, better name. Would have been awesome. Dog. More fun to say. Uh, More things uh, rhyme I don't with have it. Else yeah. To do. Uh, what do you mean? The hell are you talking about? <laughs> I've already said too much. If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could that skeever's got Bieber fever. Over here with that music playing. <laughs> Just saying. Waking nightmare. Oh, see, now normal in a normal episode, Emery would have cut me saying the skeever has Bieber fever. That would have been edited I, out. I, I probably will edit that out from this. Wait a minute, what? Well, I guess now I can't because you, you can't. kept talking about it. I just want people it. to understand how the editing process works. Sometimes you say something and it's like, eh, we can leave that on the editing room floor. It's fine. What should you do with the memories, Erander? Now it's a little behind the scenes. Perhaps yeah, them for I see what you did there. That was an educational, terrible joke. Yes. Oh, yeah, nonsensical. I'm good at this. <laughs> I like what I'm hearing. Oh, strange men that you meet in bars telling you to go off on a mystery adventure with them into a deep, dark uh, quagmire. Know, we're, we're just going to go off to, to a nonsensical art gallery or oh, something. Oh, man. <laughs> Can't wait for the hearth fire season. I know. What, what are you doing? Are we gonna? On that hill is our destination. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad. The domestic life with crotch is just so fun. Oh my God, your kids are I fucking think hilarious. Like across, like, yes. The socially awkward pariah of Dawnstar. <laughs> <laughs> he just, you know, tells once a nonsense about a, you know, an art gallery. Like this quest, along with the uh, other quests the that we did uh, last episode, well, definitely sort of like filler quests. Mm -hmm. actually, he just you know, because totally I think we had like sort of like run out of like <laughs> plans for crotch at this point uh, for what we were going like to do with them. Yeah, so we just did some of the, you know, actual story of the game, which was, you know, which I think is fine because these are fun missions. I must warn you. Yeah, the little side quests. Thank you. Good that times. Awesome. Thank you. Maybe get some good items this out of them. Was raided by an and there was enough going on with the Yasolda, you know, like uh, paranoia about what she was up to, kind of. You had to, you had to have that post-married life sort of experience to understand how their relationship progresses later. Yeah, and I think we were really high on these side quests too, because if you remember the uh, the one with um, uh, the one where you get drunk, we had just done that one. Oh yeah, and that's how we met Isolda, you know, and then that ended up being great because we ended up marrying her, which of course wasn't planned at the time. I don't think. And there was probably so much stuff in that mission that we missed that I think during a live stream sometime we have to go back and replay that. Yeah. Wow, that was kind of neat. Erander, but that was fun. This what? The, is this the art gallery? This is the nonsensical art gallery. <laughs> See right there, there's a painting made of sound. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, what's up, homie? Nonsensical art galleries are just modern art galleries right? now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Abstract, maybe? Priests must have activated this barrier when the miasma was released. Oh, shit. The miasma. Here's a banana to taped to a wall. Actually. Nonsensical yeah, art that's gallery. What I thought. <laughs> Sounds like a job for Tom Cruise. Guzzler. I like that guy's <laughs> accent when he said my asthma. <laughs> He's a distant cousin <laughs> who no longer is married to Katie Guzzler. Oh, we gotta we gotta add that okay, to the crotch family tree, really the Guzzler tree. To mm -hmm. Tom Cruise oh, Guzzler. Boy, <laughs> Your cousin. Oh shit, it's a tunnel. Now what are we doing, fuckface? Yeah, that's what I thought. He was just standing there, <laughs> hanging out. The things we need to do in here need to be done very slowly. 
we move too fast, we might actually have some fun. Oh, I like this spell. <laughs> Look at this shit. I want to put one in his ass. Did you like that? You like that? What am I looking for? <laughs> a book of he's no longer an unbroken. Called <laughs> no, he's no anal virgin. I thought your days of Good. finding books was over, but no, apparently, apparently not. that will never end. Here we go. <laughs> located book. Speak to man. I located book. <laughs> now what we do? Let me take a look. Take a look at book. Ugh, I'm getting sick of hearing his shitty, stupid voice. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, hope I like his voice. Like, yeah, what the hell is wrong with me? I guess I was being crotch. Where do we find yeah, the yeah, you weren't following around for two hours man. doing a boring side quest. Fair enough. In the East Wing. If we proceed there, oh, he says miasma. Locate a sample. <laughs> You'll be viewing. That's the why we called it that. Yeah. Through your own eyes and with your own body. Now, is it going to be an orc dream that I'm observing? Because I don't want to observe an orc dream. It's just going to be all masturbating. <laughs> and like, that's what orcs do? Yeah, they masturbate and kill. <laughs> that's their war cry. We go in, we masturbate, <laughs> we kill! I think they kill first and then they masturbate. That's probably a better order. Oh no, they creep along like fucking invalids behind Irander. Take your time, honey. <laughs> we need to find the torpor. What's that? <laughs> I'll begin searching up here. Should I go search somewhere else? The torpor should be in a tall bottle with dark liquid. Oh. You find it, bring it to me. What? Look. Okay. <laughs> I have a problem. What's the problem? He just spent three minutes telling me what this was, and then I walked downstairs, and it's sitting right here. It took me two <laughs> seconds to find it. Goddamn arrow pointing right to but it. But it took, like, three hours for him to tell me where the fuck it was. <laughs> I'm gonna kill this fucker before the end of this mission. There's no doubt about it. I found it. It was two feet away. I've taken us this far, but you need to guard us the rest of the way. No. Drake. No. Here? Now? But... 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 I don't fucking care. I'm drinking it. Suck it. <laughs> I gotta suck it. Drink. Whoa! <laughs> oh god, I must be having a bad trip. This guy's robes are disgusting. <laughs> hey, what's up there? What's this, everybody? Oh, it's this. Oh shit, is that a staff with the skull? Yeah. I need that. Can I just? Why can't I just take it? Take, take it. it. Get it. I want to take it. Blow it up. Take. Can you cast spells? Take. Nope, I can't do anything. Ah, oh, shit. Hello? Is that a gigantic skull? Anybody? What Dude. happened? What happened? It's it's oh, so God, blurry and shitty looking. You guys okay? Yeah, it's really odd. You guys just keep going. Yeah. I just need to scoot down through here. Like, holy me. cow, I can't even oh, tell what's see, happening. It's like, like a combination part. of the effect yeah. that's in the game yeah, plus like the, like, the compression from YouTube. Yeah. Him, it probably looks okay on, like, a phone or something. Finally! Shit, that's awesome. I'll finally be cured. Whoa, what the hell's going on? Oh, you're supposed to disable the magic barrier. Quick! Take that soul gem. I tried to take it right away, but it didn't work. Yeah, excuses. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> it worked. Mara be praised. Yeah, alright. Mara, uh, you're praised. Erander, I am really upset with you, but you know what? I'm just gonna let it go for now. We can talk about it later. But after this is over, I'm gonna be really upset with you, and we're gonna have to have a talk. And the talk will involve a lot of ice spikes up your asshole. <laughs> I'll just follow you. Take your time. Oh, of course, he has to pull out the mace and walk like a grandma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you never. You don't need to get up. Don't get up on my account. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that could be your catchphrase. I think it is. It's my new catchphrase. Don't get up on my account. It's a good yeah, one. Use that one a lot in Seven Days to Die. Yeah, it's, this is the most memorable part of this quest, I think, <laughs> that line. Oh, uh, somebody got up. On your account. Go back to not being up on my account. <laughs> Get back on the floor. There you go. I like that. It's like a variation of the uh, catchphrase, which, you know, audiences enjoy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they like to hear it again, but they like it when it's a little bit retouched. Yeah. Bell, Thoric, you're alive. Bellows, Gorin, you're alive. Where's Franjoy? Where's Cram Nuggets? Where's Stimpy? Where's Lumpkin? Where's Numble Wibbits? Where's Shorty the Muffin Chowder? <laughs> oh shit! Defeat Varen and Thorek. Okay, they're done. Lady Mara, come on out. Let's have a good time, honey. Of how quickly we get through every single fight. Hello? Just like three seconds tops. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, Crotch is pretty powerful. Yeah. 
Erinder would never turn on me. He loves me. Kill him now. Kill him and claim the skull for your own. I, 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 I would like that idea. Do I do it. not have to be told twice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and how about another one? There you go, buddy. I did it. Joke's Hello. on you, Daedra. We yeah. were always Voice planning on doing that. <laughs> yep. Voice from the mysterious place that said I shouldn't trust him. Yeah. Skull of fucking corruption. Oh, oh nice. That was a, a wonderful quest because... That's why we did the quest. Because the there was a skull. Gotta Andrew, be. And then at the end, gotta I just be. got to massacre him. Yeah. If only all quests were like that. You know, now that I think about it, why can't all quests be like this? Why can't you just go ahead and massacre everybody at the end of the quest? Ooh. You know, that gives me an idea. What? Well, there's this little college that I'm the archmage of. Uh-huh. And uh, everyone there kind of sucks. I think somebody needs to die. I think a whole lot of people need to die. I totally agree with you. I don't think you can take them all on with just this spell that you have right now. I think you need something a little bit more... with a little bit more kick. So next time on Skyrim for Pimps, I get the best spell in the game, and I kill everyone at the College of Winter. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds epic. Let's do it. Is that the beginning okay. of Hermaeus Mora's so, corruption of crotch yep. right there? That was totally Man. planted by Emery. That was Hermaeus Mora Emery yeah. planting the seed of killing everyone at the Magic College. So it was all him. And of course, wow. at the time when you said that, we sure as hell didn't know where this the story was gonna go. Nope. Again, we, we like back shadowed the shit out of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yep. It was just a natural was... progression for what my character was, considering all the prodding I would do uh, of, of Aaron towards violence and <laughs> nastiness. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So like a lot of this, you know, these these early seasons was laying the groundwork for then us to go back and like, you know, add all the story to, basically. Yeah. And now we're going to read some comments from this episode. Mega Super Game says, I remember my first time doing the Erander mission. I became over-encumbered and then drank the Torpor. So on top of everything, I had to slowly inch my way through the dungeon until reaching that handle. It drove me mad. Oh, oh my God, no. that's horrible. Oh, my God. <gasps> Holy crap. The Slick Bandito says, I nearly peed myself when the dude said he lives in a realm called Quagmire. Giggity. Family Guy references are still funny, even 11 years later. It's still unfunny to Aaron, who hates Family Guy. <sighs> I don't hate it. I just don't need it. <laughs> Destructinator says, lost my shit at the painting made of sound. Don't you ever stop being so awesome. Thank you, Destructinator. <laughs> Thanks. And then right under this, Nodi says, so Crotch has unwittingly become his wife's pimp? Well, this is Skyrim for <laughs> pimps, I guess. It is just absolutely wild that nobody has made another game in this genre since Skyrim that is yeah. even remotely as good. Like the genre of it's you, you're, you make a character and they are you. And you go out and you interact with NPCs one-on-one -on -one in first person and can make choices that change things. And it's an open world. And as soon as you get through the very opening quest, you can go anywhere you want. Why has that not been another game yeah. since Skyrim? It's mind boggling. Anyways, Crazy. we got one more episode left in this season and we're going to do that next episode. Yes, and then we will go through them in order because you loudly proclaimed that we must watch every episode and so we will continue doing these in order as requested. Why not? Right? Why, Why not? Dick, 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 dick,